this is this basically is basically is a solution of 68 grams of lead in five, 500 millimeters to 25% acidic acid, 75% water volumen hydrogen peroxide. Why am I doing this? I want to make, I want to make lead acetate and here's what's, it's cloudy and that's a good, really, really good sign because if it's cloudy it means you have slight particles of lead, of lead acetate in there. And the particles are basically um, it's a little bit difficult to, to to use this thing, but as you can possibly see, this is what I'm doing with it, and I'm I'm trying to get lead acetate to to, to adhere. So what happens is they uh, I'm trying to get make lead acetate crystals with with three percent hydrogen peroxide, small amounts of Oh, 68 grams of lead, and I should be able to produce 121.4 grams of, of lead acetate trihydrate. 52.2 degrees Celsius for the temperature, and what I want to do, uh, what I want to do, is make the crystals. And if I, if it's too slow a method, what I'll have to do is add 35 percent hydrogen peroxide. And the 35 hydrogen peroxide, I only have 3 percent right now. And I've been pouring in about 100 millimeters in case you lift the speaker, but it sh it, but it, but it won't do a lot because it's not strong enough. It will basically react with the with the lead to produce lead oxide and an acidic acid. It, it will speed up reaction with the heat to produce lead acetate through that method. And you can get about with this method because it's che it's a cheaper method of doing than buying the powder like lead carbonate because lead acetate lead lead salt lead strips can cost you 20 bucks for about maybe um, 120 130 grams of lead so that's a lot of lead to be working that's a lot of lead that you can produce a salt with and it's very cheap and doesn't cost much the lead carbonate powder it which is about 50 grams costs you about 30 30 dollars plus tax and on an Etsy and, and 100 grams costs about 50. 50 plus tax, so I mean, you can, so it is quite expensive. And as you can see, this is a brand new hot plate that, that I bought. It was normally uh, n normally 985, and I, I I bought it for for half that price, but only paid for half of that. So I I, I basically got it for 230. My mom paid for a little bit of it, but it's a very nice hot plate. And as you can as you can see, I'm allowing air to, to go through here, and I'm allowing air. To go for this, no this nozzle of this joint, 24 joint that I used to use a thermometer adapter, it allows hydrogen hydrogen gas to be evolved when when, he when heated, and allows oxygen in the combination line oxygen in without contaminating it, encourages with, with constant spinning to, for the lead to break down and, and convert into lead 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 carbonate lead lead acetate, and I'll be growing, I'll be using it with sporing lato, um, sporing. Um, bacteria like um, oh, what are they called? They're um, um, Bacillus Bacillus lentimorphus, which is a natural, a natural, a natural insecticide. But I'm going to use it to see uh, how resistant. Because last time I did this, I was able to absorb whatever lead salt 60%. So I want to try it again with better methods and, and use a bioreactor and produce. Higher concentrations, so I could I could use it for that. I could use it for other projects, like determining how much lead is in, in, in concentration with other salts. But simply for now, I just will be using. Uh, for for now, I'll, I will be using lead a, lead acetate to produce to um, to to work with bacteria, and it should work quite well. Once, the, once again, I thank you for watching this. It's a very cool video.